We're here with Hofstra Pride uh, men's cross coach Seth Tuning. He coached uh, a tough 10-9 uh, loss to the Villanova Wildcats, the 14th ranked Wildcats in overtime. Uh, your assessment of the game? Awfully proud of our guys. <laughs> Awfully proud. I thought they played as hard as they've played all year. Um, there's just something about this team, you know, I, again, um, had an unbelievable coming out of halftime run of probably six in a row, somewhere around that. I'd have to look at the stats again. And, uh, you know, just a play away. Sometimes it's in the third quarter. Sometimes it's in the first half. They scored a goal with one second to go in the first half, and then you lose by one, you know. Um, and that wasn't just the only play, and we need to go through those so that we're playing our best lacrosse at the end here, you know, in the CAA, uh, when the CAA season starts. But, um, you know, take your hat off to, to Villanova. Um, we uh, I, I'm just awfully proud of our young team. Um, they, they did a, they, I'm not happy when we lose, but they did a hell of a job fighting today. Down 6-3 at halftime, uh, as you mentioned, six straight goals, 9-6 lead, uh, heading into the fourth quarter. Uh, did they do anything different? Yeah, no, I mean, they're, they're an explosive team. They just beat last year's national championship, last national champion last week in Yale. And uh, they play with an, an unbelievable sense of urgency. Um, they got a couple of guys that can bring it, you know, from the outside. Um, you know, they tied us up at the faceoff X a little bit. And, uh, you know, it, it was a game of runs. And we went on a, a six goal run and it was just one, one goal short. Um, so it was a lesson that, that we've been taught now. And hopefully, hopefully that lesson helps us win a game later on in the year. Uh, we'll watch the film on the way home and the coaches will. And, uh, and then we'll uh, reassess things tomorrow. And then we've got a quick turnaround for with Stony Brook uh, on Tuesday night at, at Shewitt Stadium. You've talked about resilience uh, for the first two games of the season, now the third one. Uh, that six goal run was pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not gonna like, let the final score, uh, you know, as I told the fellows, win or lose, it's not gonna define us. It's gonna drive us. Whether we won or lost, it was gonna drive us. We had a, a, a a great challenge today, and we rose to the challenge. Uh, we came up one one goal short, but we rose to the challenge with a young team, and uh, we need to get back to work. Uh, you know, take a look at what we learned, and uh, and understand the, the value of the ball. And uh, one second, three seconds, whatever it may be, you know, nobody in Division One can take a play off and uh, and do that. But again, it, it can't go without being said how how <coughs> proud I am of the way we fought. Um, you know, the scoreboards will come, but the, 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 the heart, uh, it was there today. Ryan Tierney was a big five goal game today. Uh, I know it's not something you, you want to celebrate after a loss, but it was an impressive game as well. Yeah, he played well. You know, he did a good job, and they, they, their goalie made a couple saves on him at the end, but he shot the ball pretty well today, and, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, awfully proud of him as a, as a coach and as a father. Uh, you know, he, he played pretty well today, as did a lot of guys. You know, there was a, there was a lot of guys that contributed today, and uh, you know, hopefully proud of all of them.